Hey you guys, happy Halloween. <laughs> no, so this here is exclusively a Halloween haul. So if you don't think you probably want to see everything, I understand because this is going to be a long video. I'm going to try to move through it as fast as I possibly can. But you guys had requested last year for me to do a Halloween haul of everything I bought so you could see what I bought to get a kind of an idea of, you know, how I decorate for Halloween when I have the annual Halloween party that I have. Well, this year I decided before I start decorating, since today is October the 2nd, that I would go ahead because I decorate for the whole month of October. I don't wait till like the week before Halloween. But um, I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys everything that I've bought this year. Now I'm not going to show you last year's stuff. I have it sitting out over here behind the camera for me to decorate later. But I'm just going to show you what I've bought this year alone and... Um, I think I have a couple of things. I have one bag sitting over here of stuff that I bought last year after Halloween where it all went on sale. And I'm going to show that to you guys as well. So let me just get started. Now I'm showing you everything. And I'm going to see how much it costs and where I got it in case you want to go get the same thing. Um, some of the stuff I can't show you because I've already got it put up. But it's basically similar to this. Um, at Walmart they have these decals like this. They're movable decorations. And you can stick them on the wall, stick them on notebooks, your car, you can stick them everywhere. But I already have one of these skulls hanging up. And then these spiders, they I have I had got a whole set like this of these spiders. And I already have them all over the house. I've already done got a couple people that came over because they thought it was really like a bug on the wall. And uh, it's been incredibly funny so far because I don't have any other decorations up other than these spiders and this skull. And this skull I have it at the end of a hall, our hallway. There's a closet down there and I have that on it. I was hoping to find maybe like the body so I could stick it on there, you know, to look like a real person within the hall. But I got this at Walmart. I can't remember how much it costs, but I got two of those because I've done used one of them. I also got these. These are in the same area. And it's a bloody handprint. I already have, I think, one or two of these already hanging up. They're really cool. Oh, and then also the larger decoration I showed you, um, they have, like, blood that you can, like, it's a sticker, but you stick it onto your refrigerator or freezer. I already have it on our refrigerator. I don't know if you can see that in the background or not, like, the corner of it. But it looks really, really cool, so I have that up. And also there's, like, little bitty bugs, like... I don't know what kind of bugs, they're, but they're really big, <laughs> like a gigantic cockroach. They're that big. I got those on stickers, and I have those along, like, the baseboards in the house, like, in certain spots where people would think that there's nothing there, but it is. And I also have them along the bottom of the refrigerator to be, like, for the extra gross factor. I think it's really neat. And then I got these. I got two packs of these. Um, I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway for this one here on my Facebook. Um, the link is in the grab bag below, which is code for the description box. And they're basically, like, little decals for you to put on your phone. And I'm currently using the spider web. I don't know how good you can see that, but that's the one that I have on my phone. Actually, I have it right here. And I'll show you guys. I'm not using the bottom part. I'm only using the top part. And that's what it looks like on my phone. And I know I need a new, you know, little sticky thing to go on there. But that's what it looks like. I think it's pretty cool. And this is what, you can see it just a little bit when you turn it on. Make sure there's nothing on there. But it's really neat. I like it. So, And I got those at Walmart. But I'm going to be doing a giveaway for this on my Facebook fan page. So you guys had checked it out. I got these earrings from Walmart. I thought they were Halloween-ish. And I may use those for my costume. They're like screws. So I thought those were pretty cool. I got those for $3. And then I got these pair of earrings at Walmart too. And these are put out specifically for Halloween. I paid $3 for these. And they're skulls. I also got this over in the jewelry department. I already opened them, but clearly you can tell I've tried on one and not the other. And they, they're fishnets, but they go on your hands like gloves. And I'll show you up here where you put your finger through it. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't know if I'm going to use those or not. I think I paid $3 for those. Okay. I also got some 
werewolf dentures that's what they look like and they actually look pretty real this year they don't look like the fake kind and those were only $2.97 and it comes with some little beads that you put in water where it makes it like actual denture adhesive so when you're talking they're not going to fall out but actually stick so these are the good kind and that's what they look like hopefully you guys can see them and then I also got a pair of vampire dentures because I had decided if I'm going to wear these or if so which one I'm going to wear. And two, I always get backups in case somebody else needs something for their costume. And these are for vamp they're vampire and they're $2.97. All this is at Walmart so far. I got some um, temporary like aqua blue spray-in hair dye. This is $2.24, $2.24. It's actually, it's turquoise, but it's the same color as the bottle. And I hadn't used that yet. And then this is the red kind. And it says bright red. And it was only $2.17. I don't know why the price difference. But it may have went up now or varied by Walmart. I don't know. I got some vampire blood. And it's only $1.97 for that. Which they have some other stuff I'm going to go back and get. And it's like... Um, zombie spray blood to spray it on your clothes, you know, like it's splattered, which I'm going to get some of those. I hadn't got that yet. Okay, I also got these here. They're satin bow anklets with hearts, and they were $3.97. I don't know if you can see them, but that's what it looks like. It's kind of like um, pantyhose, but it only comes to your ankle, and they're white with little red bows, which I think is super cute. I also, um, I think, let me see, is it in this bag? Yeah, see, I got the larger ones that come up to your thighs. They're $4.97. I got those, too. And then, also, I just got, like, a little bag. These here were $1.97 of little spiders. I always use the black ones when I decorate cakes or cupcakes or whatever. And sometimes I use the other colors, but most of the time it's those in treat bags. If you guys want to see how I, what I give away, because I do treat bags for Halloween. And I have like a bowl of candy. I put everything in a big basket. All the treat bags are along the sides, and in the middle is a big bowl of candy. And I always give the kid an option, either a handful of candy or a treat bag. Because in the treat bag, they get like a variety of stuff. They get probably about 10, 15 items of different little audience stuff including candy so if you guys want to see that leave that in the comments below and I'll do another video for that um, in this bag I have two inflatable bats these were two dollars a piece and I always hang these in the trees I tie like yarn or twine onto it and then hang it from the tree to make it kind of look spooky and then I got these here which is witch shoe covers it's just the little cover that goes over the front of your shoe. It just slides over the front of your shoe, which is really cool. Those were $4.97. And then I got this wig. It's called the Billionaire Wig, but I would say it's like the Donald Trump wig. And I got that in case Marty or somebody else. I always buy spare stuff in case somebody else needs something to spruce up their costume with. But it was $7.97, and I hadn't even took it out of the package. The ones that I did take out of the package are these two here. There's this one. It's the Bad Fairy Wig. It's $7.97. I got this from Walmart. All this is from Walmart. Now this one I took out and if I was you, do not buy it because it's a waste of money. Um, and I'll tell you why. Up here on the top part of the wig, you see how the ponytails are separate and the bangs flow down? It's not like that when I put it on. The ponytails are so close together there's not hardly any room for bangs. And it's like, it's all crunched up and everything. I don't like it. This is a very poorly made wig. <coughs> for $8 anyways. And then this one here is okay. This one I tried on too last night. And it's a supermodel wig for $5.97. And it's just a solid black shortcut wig. I may do something with this. I hadn't really decided what I'm going to be for Halloween. But that's what this one looks like. Okay. The next one is, I'm going to show you guys, is these. Now, I bought, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I thought I had more than that. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nope, I only got 9. Um, they're 
nail stickers for you to put on your fingers for Halloween or any time. This is what they look like. These are pumpkin, like candy and stuff on it. Little bitty candy corn, stars, moons, all that kind of stuff. And you get 3, 6, 12, you get 24. So basically two applications. And um, it was only $2. So I'm going to be giving some of these away. Like I said, I bought so many. Um, they're $2 each at Walmart. But I'm going to be giving those away also as a giveaway on my Facebook fan page. So if you're interested in winning any of these, you need to go over there and click like so you'll see when I have the contest. And also, you know, hopefully you're a subscriber. To win anything I have, you have to be a subscriber of my channel and like my Facebook fan page. But I'm going to show you the different designs that I have. There's these here with the pumpkins and stars and moons. I only have one of those. And then... Actually, I think I do have more of these. I can't remember. I think they might be in my room already. There's this one here. These are orange. And it just says Happy Halloween on it. And then there's these here. Which are just stripes and candy. And then I have two of these, which I think I have more in my room. I don't think I brought everything in here. But there's two of these. And they're the same, clearly. They're ghosts with little hearts on it. I think that's, yeah. And there's one with like little bones on it. And there's the pinky that has just little hearts. But that's what they look like. And then there's two of these. And these are just skeletons on all of them. So, so far at least one of every one of these designs is going to be given away on my Facebook fan page. And then the last two are the same and they're just little spiders, spider webs. That's what they look like. So that's stuff to look forward to. Okay, the next thing is that I got, oh I got these and I opened these up already. It's just the regular black and white Halloween makeup. I don't know if you guys seen it. I don't know if I posted on my fan page, but I know for sure I posted on my Facebook. I had done Mama's makeup to look like a zombie. And if I hadn't shared that on my Facebook, by the time I get this video up, I'll share it over there so you guys can see it and tell me what you think. But I used this, and I used some... Um, adhesive like little scars and stuff that I had got from Walmart. It's kind of like these but they're clear. Actually it's kind of like those um, decals that I showed you guys. And there was like a scar but when I went back to Walmart and got some more of the stuff they uh, they didn't have anymore. So I guess it sold really quick. But um, I'd like to get some more of those. I may try a different Walmart. Okay. I also got these. Um, they're bejeweled eyelashes. And see what's cool is you don't have to wear all these for Halloween. You could probably wear them anytime. But these were $2.97. And they have like, you know, glitter on the eyelashes. And then I also got these here, which these are $2.97. And these are like full, full eyelashes. The other one was the only one with glue. Then these here are purple, glitterily, glitterly, <laughs> glittery sparkle eyelashes. Now these here, I may use these. These are for upper and lower lashes. And uh, they're called Double Wings. These were $4.97. And then there's these, which is called Witchcraft. And you can see they were $2.97. And then there's these, which I really, really like. These look feathery, like feathers. And it's called Mesmerizing. Because some of these I'm not going to wear for Halloween. I'm just going to wear it when I go out or something. But those are cute. I'm going to be giving away two pair of those to two, you know, one to each, to two different people on my Facebook fan page. So all this is going to be giveaways going on on my Facebook fan page only in the month of October. So you want to go check those out. Now these here, I'm going to be giving away also on my Facebook fan page in October. Um, there's primarily two of every design. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 
Okay, I bought 14, and there's two that don't have, these were the only ones they had. There's this, they're $4 a piece, so, I mean, it's basically called Crazy Shadow. I think it, like, tattoos on, let me see. Um, no, they just stick. They just stick onto your eyes. But it's called Crazy Shadows. And this is what the first one looks like. It's purple spider webs. Those are really cool. And then this one here is um, kind of like slashes. Like some kind of, I don't know, really cool red zombie-like looking thing. I thought it was really neat. Those were the only two. These aren't going to be given away, but all the other ones will be. And I'm going to show you those now. There's this one here. I have two of these. And it's purple and white. So you can tell I have two. And then there's these here, which these are really neat. They look like fireworkish type. Can't really tell, but they're neat looking. I have two of those you can see and then these here are Batman I have two of those you can tell and they're green and black those look really neat you know those these could probably be worn anytime not just Halloween like if you're going to some type of movie event I don't really know these here could also be worn anytime because they're just stars in blue. They're blue with red stars. And I have two of these because I'm keeping one and then I'm giving one design away. And this one here, when I first saw it, I thought it was like veins or something, but it's not. It's hearts. So, I mean, you probably wouldn't have to wear these for Halloween. You could probably save it and do it for Valentine's. I got two of those. But those look really neat. I hope you guys can see these. If you can't, sorry. And then the last one is these, which, I don't know, these are like some kind of, to me, nautical is what they look like. It looks like little blue ocean waves, but these could probably be worn anytime too. There's two of those. I don't really like these that much, so I may give away both of these. But that's that. Now I'm going to show you, before I get into the, like, the decorations, I'm going to show you some of the cooking things that I got to do special this year. I went and got, I have been watching like a lot of stuff about like candy melting wafers that you use to like make cake pops and all that type of stuff. And I've made cake pops several times. And I know I should make a video on it so you guys could see. Because I know there's some people that's been wanting me to do some cooking videos. So I may actually do that. Um, but I got two bags of each. I got them in orange. These here are called Candy Melts by Wilton. And I think they're like $2.48 a bag or $2.28 a bag at Walmart. But I got them in orange, white, and black. And I got two bags a piece of those. And then also to go with those, I got three packs of these here. Um, they're cookie sticks. But I'm thinking about putting the cake pops on these. I hadn't decided yet, but I got three packs of those. I don't remember offhand how much they are. And then I got just the regular stuff like plasticware, you know, the little silverware spoons and forks and knives. These are only $1.47 at Walmart. I mean, you could probably get 50 for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, but I went ahead and got them at Walmart since I was buying everything else. I got these here because I thought these were so cute. They're sprinkles, and you get, like, black and white skulls, um, black sugar, and then you get spiders in green and black. And what is so cool, they come in caskets or coffins. So how cool is that? I think that is really, really neat. And I don't remember how much these are. I think these were, like, $3.47 or something like that. And then I got this because I thought it was so cool. These are little bitty black sugar pearls. They are edible, yes. And that's what they look like. They kind of look like BBs. <laughs> I got those. I don't remember how much they were. I think like maybe $2.48 or something. I got, I thought I got more than one pack of these. 
I just want to say I think I'm missing a bag. But it's the um, Sparkle Gel. And it's in black and orange. For you to put on cupcakes or cakes. I think this is only $1.97. So to me that was a really good deal. <clears throat> and then I'm going to show you the little cupcake things I got. I got the regular orange and black cupcakes. Because I'm thinking about doing a cupcake tower. Instead of making like two or three cakes. Like I done last year. Because these are just easier and more fun. So I got those. And then I got these here with the pumpkins on it. And then I got these here. Is this little cupcake kit. And it's got this kind of uh, paper. And then it's got the little toothpick on the pumpkins. And on the little sticks it says trick or treat. I thought those were cute. Like I could make these and put it toward the top of the cupcake tower. Okay. And then that's all the cooking stuff that I got. Then also. Is that all from Walmart? I got, oh, I got some scrapbook paper. That's what it looks like. Those are all the designs right here at the top. I don't remember how much I paid for that. Probably like two something, I think. And then, what is this? I got this for $2.97. It's an executioner axe. You put it, you have to assemble it, but that's what it looks like. It's really tall, it's for an adult. And then that's everything from Walmart that I have in here. Now I'm going to show you the stuff that I got from the Dollar Tree. I got some brown spiders. I need these for spider webs in the house. I really wanted black, but they were out at the time. And then I went back and I got these, which I already took out of the thing. But these were the, they're the same as the other ones, but they're black. And it was the only pack that I could find. And then I also took this out of the, the, off the paper, but I got this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. It's a skull knocker, so I thought that was really neat. All this is a dollar, a dollar, because it comes from the Dollar Tree. And then I found one jumbo black spider. And then I found this. It's a bloody cloth. It's got handprints on it. I'm thinking about putting this over the shower curtain. Or if it's big enough, using it as a shower curtain. If not, then I'll probably just put it on the back or the side of a couch. So it looks like somebody's bled out. I don't know yet. And then I got several packs of spider webs. And they only come with like four spiders. That's never enough for me. Because I put spider webs everywhere in the house. So I had to buy some more. And I thought this was really cool. If I can get it out of the bag. I'm going to put this on the table with the food. <laughs> I know that's kind of gross, but rats. And I thought, I told mom about it. She's like, Ginger, that's nasty. But I'm going to put this amongst the food. We have one that sits like this and the other one that sits up like this. And I just thought it was so neat. And I was going to put this, the one standing up by like the chips and the dip. Or it would maybe be neat if I placed it over by the cupcake tower. Like he's looking up like, I'm going to eat that. <laughs> But I think I'm going to get some more of those because those are neat. And then I got some more stuff to decorate outside with. Um, this here says Fright Tape Caution Zombies. I don't know where I'm going to put that at yet unless I put it on the house. And then this one here says um, Zombie Zone. So I may put those on the doors inside the house. And then I have these to decorate outside with, which I have some of these left over from last year, but not these. I bought these. They're the inflatable skeletons and inflatable ghosts. I got two a piece of those because I told you I put uh, these on string or twine and hang them outside in the trees in our front yard. And then I also got some more of these. Now, the reason I don't go to Party City or buy these are at Walmart because they cost more and I'm not wanting to put something outside that costs a whole lot of money if it gets rain you know if it starts raining or it gets cold because it gets like that sometimes in October here in Georgia and like yesterday for the past two days it's rained all day for the past two days so I don't want to put stuff out there that's going to ruin that I can't reuse or if it only costs a dollar it doesn't matter that's why I bought this stuff from the Dollar Tree because if it gets tore up or messed up then it's only a dollar so I got these little headstones because I'm going to do a graveyard out in the front in between our trees where I'm putting all this tape at. And <laughs> I thought it would be neat. So I got this one. 
this one and this one. I hope you can see them. I hope it's not that big of a glare. But I have a couple left over from last year. And I'm just going to make, you know, it's going to be pretty cool, I think. And I think that's pretty much it from what I got from the Dollar Tree. Oh, I got this, which I hadn't decided what I'm going to do yet. I'm thinking about just taking that brain off out of this pack. I know it's for decoration purposes for you just to like set it on the table amongst the food, but I'm not going to do that. I'll probably take this brain out and put it on top of a cake and get some um, red gel like this stuff and put it on the cake with a butcher knife because that's similar to what I done last year. So yeah, that is everything I got from the Dollar Tree. The only other thing that I can show you guys is the stuff that I got on clearance last year after um, Halloween where it all went on sale at Walmart and I can show you that really quick. Let me move some of this stuff off the table. Okay. I got this skeleton. He's a big skeleton. He's a regular $9.88 but I think it was like 75% off so I paid $2.50 but He's missing his arm right here, which is fine because a skeleton's a skeleton. And um, so I got like an additional amount of money off or something. I think so I ended up paying like a dollar for him, and he's pretty big. So that was worth a dollar to me. And um, yeah, I got that from Walmart last year. And then I got, let me show you this, this ginormous bucket that are normally like five bucks this big bucket is like five dollars at walmart i paid one dollar last year for it that is an excellent deal because i'm going to use this probably for like bobbing apples if kids come to the halloween party this year that will have stuff set up for them because people was asking for it last year and i didn't have it so i have it now and now i'm going to show you the other stuff that i got too I got this here for I think like a dollar and it's a muscle suit. So, hey, I could be a muscle man. Ooh, I'm just kidding now. So embarrassing. Um, got that for a dollar and then I got, what is this? I just pulled it out of the pack. Oh, I got the Flintstone outfit. For probably like a dollar or two dollars I think I can't remember and then I got this what is this I don't remember what this is it's like some kind oh it's some kind of cape yep it's a cape I don't know it looks like something out of Mortal Kombat but that's what it looks like it's got a brown around the top. So you put it on like this. You kind of get the gist of it now. Yeah. Paid a dollar for that. I don't feel like fixing it or taking it off. And then... Ooh, I forgot I had that. What is this? This is a Halloween hat with feathers. I was going to buy the one like this from Party City for like... $25 I think it was. I got this at Walmart for like two bucks. Of course you would have to stuff something in the hat because it, you can hear it. How it feels like not like styrofoam but that foamy type stuff. But this is what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. I love the feathers on it but that's not what I'm going to be for Halloween. And then the last thing what is this? Oh I remember what this is. It's a beer mug costume, see? And you just slide it on and just wear it, and that's it. But it's always good to have extra costumes around if people want to or need a costume to wear that's coming last minute and can't find anything because it's like the day before Halloween, you know? But that's everything I got from Walmart last year. I wouldn't have bought all this stuff had I not got a really good deal on it, so I'm pretty sure I paid probably like a dollar or two dollars for each costume if not cheaper but yeah that's pretty much it you guys let me know if you want to see a video about how I do the treat bags 
or if you want to see a video on how I make cake pops and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. Leave in the comments below what you liked the best out of everything I bought. And if you're excited about the giveaways that I'm going to have on my Facebook fan page. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Oh, let me know if you want to see after I get everything decorated how it looks. Because this isn't everything I have. So yeah, I will talk to people later. Bye.